This is a demonstration of a PNT alkalinity drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. P alkalinity is the alkalinity titrated to a phenolphthalein endpoint with a pH of 8.3. T alkalinity is for total alkalinity, which is titrated to a pH of approximately 4.6. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to collect an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before collecting your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample, hold the vial close to eye level. Accuracy is very important during this step. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, Place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level to verify. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add three drops of phenolphthalein indicator. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, it's important to swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. In this example, the sample is turned pink, indicating that there is p-alkalinity that needs to be titrated. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. Each bottle of titrant is labeled with the equivalency and sample size it was manufactured for. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. The bottle of titrant contains a dropper tip, therefore it's important to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, you want to swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the sample is changed from pink to colorless. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to add three drops of the total alkalinity indicator. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, it's important to swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. In this example, the sample is turned green, indicating that there is still alkalinity that needs to be titrated. The next step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to perform the titration. Each bottle of titrant is labeled with the equivalency and sample size it was manufactured for. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. The bottle of titrant contains a dropper tip, therefore it's important to hold the bottle vertically to make sure you get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, you want to swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. According to the endpoint ID procedure, the titration is complete when the sample is changed from green to red.